Hey, what's going on you guys? So today I'm going to be showing you the most efficient way to get weapon XP currently in Modern Warfare 2. That's going to be by playing the game mode of third person mode. Now in this game mode, you're able to get about 3k between 3k and 8k consistently in about 7 to 10 minutes. Now the crazy part about this is that's consistently even if you have a bad game from my personal experience when i had a bad game where i didn't perform too well i was able to get about 4,000 weapon xp and about eight minutes on average and on games where i performed really well some of those games will last about as short as five minutes between five minutes and seven minutes and those games i would get about six to eight k weapon xp and that's weapon XP without using a token for double weapon XP. That's just straight raw weapon XP. I'm still going to be giving out codes for the Jack Links, which is the beef jerky promotional that's going out for Modern Warfare 2. It's going to allow you to have the chance to win the ghillie suit, which is also the, the Sasquatch suit for or the operator skin in Modern Warfare 2. So if you want a chance to win that, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'm going to be doing a second raffle to kind of give that code out. And I went out and got more codes. So again, for all my future videos, I'm most likely going to be giving out a code every video. So that gives everybody a chance to, to you know, have another chance at winning that code. So again, like the video, make sure you subscribe and comment down below and let me know if you also enjoyed the video all right guys so one thing that i am going to mention is that in order for you to maximize your weapon xp it really depends on you as a player and how and it also depends on how well you perform at playing the objective at the same time because like i said in my personal experience the most that i received i think it was it was close to 9k weapon xp and i believe it was like in six minutes unfortunately i didn't have that saving i didn't have that recording saved i wasn't recording at that time but these videos that i'm showing you now it's pretty much proof and it kind of shows that you're able to get a good amount of weapon xp in as little as seven eight nine minutes and like i said if you know yourself if you try third person mode and you say hey i'm not a good player at this because you can't maximize your kills don't worry about that just worry about playing the objective and trying to get some decent amount of kills because as long as you're consistent that's all that matters it's consistency to kind of put it as an example if you're able to play the objective even if you don't get that many good that many kills but you're able to still play the objective and have the game finish in about six seven minutes you're most likely going to get about three to four k weapon xp that's 4k weapon xp in seven minutes that's going to be 8,000 weapon XP in 14 minutes versus, or at least comparing it to ground war, where on average they can be about 20 minutes plus. From my personal experience, I would join a match late. It will take about 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, I only received about 3,000 weapon XP on matches that I didn't perform too well on. There is matches I've only had the whole time that I've been playing Ground War. I've only had one good match where I got about, I think my highest kills were 41 kills, I think. And in that match, I can't remember how much I got, but it was nowhere near as much as the amount of weapon XP that I'm getting while playing third person mode. So again, in order for you to maximize your weapon XP, you don't have to get as many kills. You don't have to be the best player in third person mode. As long as you're playing the objective and you can consistently make the matches finish as quick as possible, you're going to be getting a good amount of weapon XP pretty often. So that's the main thing that you guys got to remember. If you don't perform too well, that doesn't matter as long as you're playing the objective because as of now, you can get a lot of weapon XP consistently in about 7-8 minutes. Now if you're a really good player, if you can perform really well, you're going to be able to maximize that and you can get as much as 9k in about as little as six minute matches so the highest kills that i've gotten on third person mode i believe it was um 49 kills i think 49 kills was the highest that i ever gotten and again that was in as little as six minutes 
and I've been getting consistently 30, 30 kill games, 25, 35, 40. Like I've been consistently getting those amount of kills versus ground war. You would most likely get 20 consistently, 18 and 30 minutes, 20 minutes. So it just kind of proves that this game mode at the moment is the best game mode to play in order for you to maximize your weapon XP. Maybe down the future, or maybe even like in a couple of days, they might make changes to that. They might actually update this. So that's one of the reasons why I would recommend that you jump into third person mode. Maximize your favorite gun, or if you can, maximize as many guns as you can to max level before they actually make changes to this. One thing I forgot to mention as well is at the moment, like I said, I don't know if this is intended, but you are able to get a lot of XP playing the objective. Like, like I mentioned before, there was a time where I capped B flag and domination at the start of a match when it was neutral and I gained about 500 XP and it, it felt like it was applied to my weapon XP because at that time I didn't have any kills and my weapon instantly leveled up. So again, I would really recommend playing the objective when you're playing third person mode because there's been times where I didn't perform too good. I only got about 22 kills in a single match, but I was playing the objective and I would get like 5k weapon XP. So playing the objective is very important. Right now, the best mode to play is um, TDM. I know it is TDM because TDM tends to be about seven minutes. They can be as short as six minutes as well. And you're able to get consistently about 5k weapon xp if you if you perform really well you can get 6k if you perform average and not so good you'll get about 3k 4k well that's still 4k in six minutes seven minutes is still pretty good but like i said tdm is really good hardpoint would probably be the best one and in hardpoint i would highly recommend playing on point and trying to get as many kill streaks getting a streak while on point or even defending the point just because when i had matches where i performed really well with kills while playing the objective i think i got about like 7k weapon xp and there's been times too like these these recordings that i'm showing you right now these aren't even the best gameplays the best the most amount of xp that i gained unfortunately when i was playing i wasn't recording at that time so the matches where i did really well and i gained a lot of weapon xp i don't have any footage of that because i wasn't recording at this time this footage that I'm showing you right now, it's all the footage that I gained after I noticed that I was leveling up my weapons way too quick. So again, these aren't even like the best moments of me getting weapon XP while playing third person mode. So again, it just shows to prove that this game mode is going to give you the most weapon XP possible per minute, like the most XP you can get per weapon XP per minute. And like I said, if you're using double weapon XP tokens, which I wasn't, you're going to be able to get a lot more weapon XP. But playing third person mode in Call of Duty multiplayer actually gets you so much more weapon XP throughout comparing it to any other game mode. This game mode, the matches tend to take about 7 to 10 minutes on average. The longest match I've had was 11 minutes. But that was only because it was me and a teammate versus a team of six and it took us about seven minutes and we didn't even hit the 100 kill mark but that's or it took us 11 minutes but that's the only reason why it took 11 minutes but on average with a full team it takes between seven to ten minutes per game and that includes domination hard point and tdm but the shortest match that i had was like six minutes i believe and this includes the introduction the pre-game lobby and finding the lobby, as well as the final kill cam, the end of match report. That's about six minutes total. The actual gameplay itself was about five minutes, to be honest. It was like close to five minutes, but that just proves that the matches are super quick and every match you're getting consistently about 4K, between 4K and 7K of weapon XP. And I did not use when I was recording all these all this footage. I wasn't using a double XP token. So if you use a double weapon XP token, you can get even much more XP. So again, like I said, these tend to be about seven to ten minutes on average. 
if you're lucky sometimes matches do are as quick as six minutes and if you're unlucky sometimes it can be as long as 11 minutes but again you get between 7 and 11 minutes you're able to get about 4k to 7k weapon xp without a double weapon xp token to kind of compare it for ground war in my personal experience it would take me about 15 minutes to get about 3,000 weapon xp and again i would join a match that was already halfway done and it would take me about 15 minutes to complete the match and i would only get about 3k weapon xp and those were matches where i wasn't really performing that good it was like just average but again in ground war i can't confirm this but ground war in modern warfare 2 it has skill based matchmaking as compared to modern warfare 2019 where it was super popular popular because it did not have skill based matchmaking so it, it's it's kind of makes it more difficult in order for you to be more consistent in ground war for modern warfare 2 in my personal experience since i started playing ground war again i've played ground war since the first day of launch and all the hours that i put in i've, I've only had one match where i got about 43 kills i believe that was like the best match that i've had and even then i didn't get that it took me about 30 minutes i think uh, i can't recall how much weapon xp i got but it was just 30 minutes and it was just one game out of all the hours that i played versus me playing third person mode i played about two hours and those two hours it includes again the pre-game lobbies the finding the match the final kill cam the end report so technically it was about 140 maybe 130 minutes of gameplay and i was able to max out about four and a half different guns which is it's pretty crazy to do that in less than in about two hours pretty much so again comparing it to ground war you're able to get more xp more efficiently so if you look at it it's it's more of like more xp per minute i guess ground war is a good mode to play if you want to get character xp so if you want to get character xp and maximize your character xp i would highly recommend playing ground war but as of now if you want to maximize your weapon xp i would highly recommend that you try third person mode because from my personal experience you're getting way too much xp and again like i said the matches aren't even that long so i i don't know if this is intentional I don't know if it's just a honest mistake because it's the first time doing a third person mode since 2008. <laughs> but I would highly recommend that you guys give it a try because most likely this is going to be changed or there's going to be an update. Whether it's a nerf to the XP or if it's a nerf to just how long the matches last or even the time to kill. But I would recommend taking advantage of this and getting your... The weapons that you want to max out maxed out right now because this is probably the best way possible and the quickest way possible anyways that's it for the video guys hope you enjoyed leave a like make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below especially if you still want to win one of those promotional reward codes for the jack link the beef jerky code for modern warfare 2 i have plenty of codes to give out so if you want to make sure if you want to win one of those codes, make sure you leave a comment down below. It's for a chance for you to win. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below as well which is your favorite weapon and which weapon are you going to be looking out to max out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace and love. Thank you.